I thought of many ways of making this video, but I'm gonna keep it really simple. I purchased 24 TI-92 calculators on eBay. They were listed as, um, as untested, so they were sold um, as is. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and see uh, if I get lucky. Hopefully I'm gonna get lucky. I didn't pay much for them. I only pay uh, $60 for the uh, for all the 24 calculators plus uh, $28 for shipping, I believe. And after tax, the total came up to be a little less than $100. So, even if I get five working ones, then uh, I I already got my money worth it. I really, uh, <laughs> I'm I, I'm really uh, I'm really being uh, optimistic. Hope uh, I'm gonna get lucky. As you can see, the box has some dents in it. Ah, uh, the FedEx guy probably I don't know I don't know what to do to it, but I don't know. The eternal cliche the company de transport vu par les clients. Anyways, let's let's go ahead and unbox this. I got my knife here, I'll remove uh, my address. I think it's best to just uh, see this. Uh, okay, so. Oh wow, I'm lucky. I mean, I'm lucky that I didn't uh, lay on the other side because I didn't want this to spill on my side of the house. Okay, so it seems to be really well packed. So it looks like uh, there's a, a set of two. Oh wow, <laughs> way more than that. This thing is really well packed. So I guess, yeah, yeah that's, that's definitely a good thing. So yeah, as you can see, it's a set of one, two, a bunch of them. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, try to uh, put uh, the uh, phone aside and uh, record myself uh, taking them out. And I'm gonna test uh, each of them one by one. The one that don't that don't turn on, probably gonna uh, I'm probably gonna try to open them up and see uh, what's going on. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, welcome back to my workstation, my workplace, my work table, whatever you want to call it. I guess I could get a little fancy, but eh, why? We're just gonna try to get some calculators back to life. So, the listing was uh, for 24 Ti 92, and uh, I was really hoping there would be some uh, 92 plus because uh, the guy didn't have uh, a picture of the whole set. So, but yeah, uh, we'll see. If they are all 92, it's still a great deal. If uh, I, if I'm able to get a uh, five, even five working, because, you know, you, you, I could still use them for parts. Why not? Uh, anyway, so this is the first one. I'm uh, gonna go and uh, okay, comes out pretty easily. And from first glance, I don't see any corrosion. So that's already a good sign. Oh, okay, uh, this thing is, okay, so this was a little bent. I hope that was not caused by the shipping because the box was a little damaged. Okay. okay, so this is the first one. Okay, the first one, I wanna see the screen is bad, but let's adjust the contrast. Okay, so since, since this is probably the first time, uh, this, uh, get some power so it's gonna take a little little longer before I can adjust the contrast okay so the screen on this one is working and uh, the calculator turns on fine just fine I just wanna let's see I mean the screen is still usable but uh, the fact that they've been, they probably been sitting for I don't know how long. So yeah, I'm probably gonna have to open this up. Uh, the one that needs working, I'm gonna put them on one side. The one that don't need anything, then uh, hopefully. But this is a good store. I uh, just picked this up uh, randomly, and uh, it happens to be working just fine. But I'm just, uh, you know, a little sad about the display. As you can see, the display has some lines on it, which can be repaired. Really depends. Okay, so. And let me also check uh, 
the memory on this one really quick does this have which module does this have okay free memory okay I just wanna check some really quick okay nope okay let me check the version so press F5 and go to the secret menu okay so this is good this has a uh, version 1.7 and uh, the first one the, my the only one I have the one that I purchased before this I bought that one on eBay too as well that one has a uh, version 1.4 so okay so this one works but the display needs uh, some repair so I'm just gonna grab a pen and uh, put some writing on it so I know what's, what's wrong with it okay so this goes here I'm not gonna fully close it so I'm just gonna how can I do okay I'm just gonna put this uh, here so it doesn't go anywhere okay so this is how I do it so for now I'm just gonna set this aside and move on okay we've got the second one seems to be looking nice they're all in uh, well well they seem to be in pretty good condition so far it's just the second one but we'll see okay I don't like how this one feels already this one seems a little loosened okay I didn't see any corrosion here forgot to mention that I thought I would mention that okay the display on this one seems to be busted as well hmm okay we're gonna wait a little longer and then uh, adjust the contrast it takes a while if uh, okay the display on this one seems pretty bad mm, yeah this one is barely usable that is not good so yeah uh, so far uh, <laughs> we haven't been that so so lucky but at least the good thing is that they come on so I guess that's better than nothing so yeah depending on how severe uh, it is we may be able to fix the display so I uh, will see so at this point I don't know, all I can do is just take the guy's word for it, him saying that he hasn't tested them, so <laughs> we're just going to leave it at like that. Okay, so third one. Okay, so well, none of them have any corrosion, so if this one has a bad display, then uh, I'm probably gonna start not believing the guy saying that he hasn't tested them, but yeah, we'll, uh, it's still possible. Okay, so this one has a good display, and uh, so far this is uh, this is the first one that seems to have no problem, no corrosion. I haven't noticed any corrosion, and uh, the display seems to be working just fine. Just gonna adjust the brightness. There you go. Okay, so. We seems to be lucky with this one and um, yeah so this one does not need anything apparently everything works pretty well I'm gonna check the software version on this one uh, f5 diamond print practices okay so this one is also uh, fairly recent it's running a 1996 software 1.8 compared to 1.7 on the first one I tested okay so this one is good, so I'm gonna set this aside. So far, so good. Uh, uh, let's see. Let me check the memory real quick because some of them were known to have uh, the 92 plus module, but now nah, that can't be because the 92 plus came out in 1998, so this one is 1996. I don't even need to check it. Okay, so I'm starting to wonder uh, since the box was damaged, maybe that caused, I mean, that, that, yeah, that caused the display to. To break okay so I'm just gonna should I close this yeah, I'm gonna close this one for now it seems to be working so that's the wing the one that works goes here okay this is the fourth one well so far we got one working so let's hope this one has no corrosion 
Uh, one thing for sure, they seem to have been uh, well taken care of. Okay, so this one seems to have a good display as well. Let's give it a little time, maybe five seconds, and then we can adjust, adjust the contrast. Okay. All right. Let's try now. Okay, so this one is also working just fine. So far, we got two working one with no display issue or nothing. Okay. So. I hope uh, we're gonna keep getting lucky. Luck is not gonna last forever, but so far we are on a good path. Okay, so as well. Okay, 696. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and do uh, this 24 times. I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna upload a lengthy video, so I'm probably just gonna go through all of them real quick. And uh, okay, this one seems to be working just fine as well. So far, three. That's really positive. I'm really happy. Spent $100, and so far, $20 per calculator. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. 60 bucks. So yeah, it's like I consider it like this is like a $60 win. Uh, let me check the version of this okay 1.12 1996 that is great okay what else we got I was really hoping we would have some 92 pluses <laughs> man that would be so awesome so so far we have three working calculators Okay, so this one won't turn on at all, and uh, I haven't seen any corrosion on the battery. And uh, one thing I'm gonna try is to quickly remove, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna try and remove the backup battery because that sometimes may cause these things to not boot up. Okay, I'm also gonna try and move the module and I'll put it back. Okay. 
ओके ओह वाव लुक एट दैट दैट डेफिनेटली फिक्स इट यू सी समटाइम यू जस्ट कैन डू बेबी स्टेप्स ओके सो फार वी गेट फॉर वर्किंग कैलकुलेटर्स एंड दैट ग्रेट ओके आई जस्ट कैन आई जस्ट कैन गिव इट अ लिटिल टाइम for it to boot up fully to fully boot up and then i can try and adjust the contrast there you go we got a completely working calculator all i got to do is just uh dust it up a little bit and uh we good to go but however what i want to say though is that uh i noticed there were some uh slightly uh, some slight liquid uh within the body comp compartment so i'm going to Put a note on this to open it up, and uh, yeah, see if uh, there is any corrosion that is starting to build up in, on the inside. So there is that. So so far we got four working calculators. Uh, when I said that I already got my money worth it, even twenty five dollars for these is not a bad deal at all. It's definitely not a bad deal. Okay, so I don't need this uh, backup battery. It's pretty, it's probably dead anyway. So I'm just gonna put this back. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put this inside. But anyways, like I said, I'm probably going to open this up anyway, so uh it's not a big deal. I'm not even going to close it. Oh, okay. So you see, I'm definitely going to have to open this up. This is definitely some corrosion here. So yeah, that's probably that's that could be one of the reason why it wouldn't boot up right away. So yeah, I definitely got to work on this one. But like I said, I'm going to put a note. Uh so, let me look for my pen. Um just going to do this. corrosion I'm just going to put this note here corrosion so I know how so I know to work on this I'm going to set that one uh let me set this one over here okay so that one was uh one batch or one uh one lot Huh. Well, oh, okay. I need to take it easy. Okay, this one seems clean. Looks like all these calculators were really good taken care of. So, that's always good to see. Oh. This one boots uh, right up. Right on. So, five working ones. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, definitely five working calculators. Not so fast. <laughs> the display on this one has some seems to have some lines. Not a huge deal, but let's see if it affects. Yeah, it's definitely noticeable slightly. So yeah, we're gonna do something about this as well. Uh, yeah. So the ones that have display issue, I'm going to put those over here. So four with no issue so far. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. So all these have display issues. So far we got three with that display issues. Oh man, I really wish there were some plus models. So I'm assuming this a school probably purchased a bunch of, a bunch of these when they first came out in 1995, you know, they just jumped right on it. And uh I don't think it ended up being what they were really expecting because this thing was not that popular. Okay, so we got a fit one working this one okay so this one is probably uh this one is probably a software version 1.4 from 1995 if i am right then i'm going to tell you how i know this 
Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> so no need for me to tell you why I thought I was right, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, this one seems to be working fine, so uh, that is that working, no issue at all. Good, 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 good. Yeah, I guess I was wrong. Uh, saying that I'm not gonna upload a lengthy video. Because I want you to see the whole process. I mean, I could always edit it, but uh, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna take a lot of time. I mean, this video is pretty straightforward. You can always scroll it on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can always scroll it. Okay, so this one has some lines too. The display seems to have some lines. Okay, so when I open this up, uh, what I'm hoping is that uh, because this display, they have some, uh, uh, how can I say this? They have some like uh, some rubber, some kind of uh, rubber that needs to be uh, uh, heat up or heat it up. You just need to heat them up a little bit. And so it, they can uh, go back to what they were, something like that. Or just touch them a little bit, you know, press against the display and uh, they are going to be working just fine. Just some connection problems, so that's what I'm hoping at least. But I could be wrong. However, I was able to fix a certain displays that way in, uh, in the past. So I'm hoping this is not uh, a big of a deal. But it's going to be a really tedious job because of the way this thing is built. So all these have all these have display issues so far. But at least we got five working ones, so that's good. And we still got plenty of calculators to go. Okay. Even the one that even the ones that have display issues, they are still perfectly usable. You know, it's just uh, well, it's just that uh, it's just something that needs to be looked after. You know. Okay, that was uh, strangely hard to open. Okay. Display as well. Well, never mind. So yeah, it looks like uh, if uh, these things spend a lot of time without being used, then the fact that uh, these uh, uh, the um, the components are not getting any signal, that could uh, potentially or in theory that could you know <laughs> affect the calculator in a way. So maybe that's why those displays are are being hacked acting up. But uh, this one is totally fine. I don't know if you could have. I don't know if you picked it up, but when I first, when this first uh, came on, you could see a, a straight horizontal line throughout the display. But it was it went it went away immediately. So after getting some signal, some some power, some electricity, then uh, it went away. So that's a good thing. So we got six working calculators. As you can see, some of these have fast scrolling, but not all of them do, and that's not a setting you can change. And uh, the funny thing is, this uh, the 95 was the only Texas Instrument calculator uh, from uh, from the 90s, even the, even from uh, early 2000 that that does fast scrolling, and none of them no, none of them do it. And by none of them, I mean uh, TI calculators with uh, CAS with CAS computer algebra system in them, except for the Inspire series. But the 95 is the only one that had a uh, fast scrolling, as you can see. If you can't do this on your voyage, if you try to do fast scroll on your voyage, it's gonna fast scroll, but it's gonna take uh, about two seconds for it to register your uh, uh, to start scrolling. 
So we got five, I mean, six working calculators. That is great. I already got my money worked. So I'm happy with my purchase already. And even, uh, even if I'm not able to fix uh, the display on the uh, on those, I mean, they can still be used for parts, you know, the casing, they all look to be in great shape. The keys can be recycled. I mean, not recycled, well, the keys can be used on, uh, on other ones. Like my first one, the X has a, the X has a problem. So that is that. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna edit this video. So yeah, this video is probably gonna be a, an hour video because <laughs> that is just uh, no way for me to go back, rewatch the whole video and try to edit it. It's not gonna be worth it, you know. Doing it for free, I'm not getting paid on YouTube anyway, so <laughs> why bother? Okay, so this one, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, there was uh, a flickering. Uh, uh, an horizontal uh, line but I'm pretty sure it's gonna go away as soon as I adjust the contrast yeah it went away it's not it's not there anymore so it went away okay so that's a really positive thing so so far all the calculator seems to be working they all start that's the good thing they all start so these were probably just retired from a, from, from a school and they seems to be really well taken care of. I'm really happy. And they don't have any corrosion. So they were probably, they, they were stored properly. They were not stored inside of a, you know, inside of a plastic bag where humidity could be an issue. These were uh, stored really properly. So we got seven working calculators. No 92 plus. I'm still hoping there will be some 92 pluses, <laughs> and they all have a uh, they all have a uh, the cover. So yeah, yeah. This one definitely needs to be checked. Yeah, it's just the connection, you know. Just you know, if you just touch up the the cables. Uh, this seems to be uh, worse than the others, though. Yeah, it definitely seems worse than the others. Okay, so display on this one needs to be checked as well. I'm really concerned about the one at the very bottom. I hope uh, they haven't been banged up by the shipping. They could have been uh, packed a little nicer, but you know the package it was it was it was nicely packed still. So not much complaint there. Okay, this is a really positive thing. This one comes on. Just the contrast. Okay, so. I don't know what what this liquid came from though. Could be some corrosion. I don't see any corrosion here. I don't like that though. Okay, even though this works, I am going to open it up because there were some uh, liquid underneath. So I don't like that. Uh, 
let's see. This one was already open. Okay, this one uh, had a horizontal line, but it went away immediately after getting some signal. So let's hope this one is not gonna be a wrap. definitely not a wrap it's a win this one is a win it's a total win so yeah we've been really lucky so far they all come on i mean what is what more can you want i'm almost running out of space Okay, this one boots right up. I'll do this uh, really quickly. Yeah, 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 this works. So what I'm gonna do is, because uh, I haven't fully tested these, but I'm pretty confident the keys, all the keys are gonna be working fine. I'm pretty sure of it. I've only seen uh, uh, one key now working on the Texas Instrument calculator. That was a TI-89 titanium, but that was uh, heavily corroded. And, uh, and that was only one key, the on key, I mean the inner key was not working. Lift this up a little bit. Okay, this one is has some really heavy lines. Just the anyways. Yep. Okay. Great. Let's see. I don't know where I put the cover. Okay, so. I don't even know which one I just tested. Oh man, <laughs> that's not good. Let's 
see I'm getting a little tired already by doing the same thing over and over. Which one did I even take? Okay, was this the one I tasted? Okay, so this one is not functioning. But which one did I, I don't know if that was the one I tested or, okay, about to find out right now. Okay, it's best that I just take, take it easy. I guess this was the one I tested initially, but this one won't come on at all. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, pop this uh, open yeah, this is the good one. I don't know which cover belongs to which calculator. It doesn't really matter, man. Uh, one more space, so I'm just gonna try and uh, see what's going on with this really quick. So I'm just gonna, uh, for now, I'm just gonna leave this up. Take out the module, blow on it, see the back, and uh, put the battery in. Okay, so nothing. I think so far, so I'm gonna try something else. The one, I, the first thing I did. What else I could do? Um, okay, this thing won't come on at all. Uh, let me try something really quick. I got a different module from uh, a broken cartridge that I think works. It doesn't cost anything. I'm just gonna. Replace the module. Okay, this one won't, won't come on at all. So, I don't know what's going on with this one. So, I'm going to set it aside and I'll work on it later on. I spent too much time on this already. Uh, not to forget a module, so I know it's not a module. So we'll see what we do with this one, what we can do. Um, just gonna set this uh, aside for now and uh, just make sure I don't lose these screws. Okay, since this one won't turn on at all, that's gonna be a different category. So I'm gonna set that over here. Uh, 30, 40 minutes already. Okay, we're almost done. This one locks, uh, locks. No 92 plus, it is what it is. Oh, 
okay this one has some lines that's okay okay so just lines that is fine uh, we got a lot with the uh, bad lines I mean with bad display Let's see if uh, we can fix this that's probably gonna be in a separate video because that's gonna take some crazy amount of time Okay, this one has a, a vertical line. Okay, we did one already. That line and that display. Now I'm gonna adjust this contrast. I'm just gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be done with it. Okay. This one won't even uh, do the fast. Okay, there you go. Okay, that works. Like uh, we are through, only one, one more calculator and we'll be all set. Yeah, this one is good. Okay, this one wouldn't do the fast calling, so I'm gonna set this aside and analyze it. Later. The one I did before this, it wouldn't scroll uh, fast through the UI, so. I want to investigate that. <laughs> I haven't done that with uh, all of them, but eh, it is what it is. I just want to check it out and see if uh, it's going to stop doing after a while. Yeah, that was the very last one. So, 
okay so that's it for this video and this one has a bad display as well so far we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we are 10 11 working characters and uh 13 now working ones so that was a really good deal i mean they all work for only one that wouldn't turn on at all and uh i got 11 calculators for pretty much hundred dollars so that's about ten dollars per calculator you know it was it wasn't exactly uh 100 it was like 97 or 95 i can't remember but yeah this one has a line too so i'm gonna start working on the one that wouldn't come on at all so that's it for this video